What do you mean it was 101? Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. I've, I've already played the title screen. Ooh. Oh, god damn it. Okay, give me a second. I can fix this. I can fix this. Let me see if I got this right. You go into town to buy some alchemy shit. With the purchase, the lady offers a complimentary mint. Trevor here tries to persuade her that he should get two mints. He fails and is asked to leave the premises. Fairly classic so far. How fucking ever, instead of taking one mint and leaving like an adult, Trevor tries and fails to intimidate the lady who threatens to call the guard. Grogner takes offence at the implied threat to her boyfriend and kills the lady. The guard happens to be walking by, Trevor panics and sets the store on fire as a diversion but fails to account for the fact that the entire store is stocked wall to wall with chemical accelerants. The fire spreads quickly, the entire town burns, you kill any witnesses and escape in the chaos. And forgot the mints. Ever heard of de-escalation you fucking psychopaths? <laughs> Meh. <clears throat> well, Mr. Torvald, me and Trevor here are very impressed with your resume. You're the only wizard to apply for the position of our fourth party member, and I believe a wizard is just what we need. Dig the armor too, it's, uh, very unconventional. Grogner couldn't be here because... Jail, not important. So, you're a dwarf a few words, you have sorely needed book smarts, you're a magic user who's not a squishy raging pyromaniac, and you would, um, never willingly harm a living thing. I think I speak for the whole party, which I do since it's my turn to pick, when I officially accept your application. Congratulations. Out of interest, um, what's your arcane tradition? Necromancy. Uh, that really should have been in your resume. No take back, Z's Buckethead. Welcome to the team, God buddy. God help me. So, Torvald. I... You are a fan of the ladies, eh? Maybe I put the romance in necromance. Poor choice of words? I hope. Can I, um, ask you something personal? Sure thing, Sir Bucket. Sir Beckett. Anyway, you and, uh, Grogner. How's, um... How's that working out? Oh, it's going great. It started off pretty casual, me being a lone wolf that don't want to get tied down, you know. But Grogner, don't want to jinx it, but this might be the real deal. We talk for hours every night. I've never been able to open up emotionally like this before. Ain't that right, babes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's a real softy, that one. Is that a knife? Real heart of gold. That's a knife. You are too late, heroes. The ritual is complete. My army rises. This pose is mine. Whoa! Mine. Uh, where did you even find these guys? Uh, ah, a fellow necromancer. A worthy challenger. At last. <clears throat> All right, 
It's clear. What the hell, man? Don't hurt the loot. Mimics, my dear Trevor. Mimics. Little bastards like to pretend they're chests and similar containers, pouncing on unsuspecting adventurers. Like you. That's why you always have to be vigilant. Think like a mimic. Adapt. Overcome. Survive. Motherfucker. Brothers, you know why we were summoned. We, the greatest and humblest of paladins, must cleanse this land of the orc menace. Deus Vault. Here, here. Shall we swear it then? Deus Vault. Call it, Bob. We, we swear, swear to Dalavor, our god, god most, most holy, holy, and, and, his, and his one and, one and only, only prophet, prophet Carlinus Matthias Stevacus. And then we try to murder each other. Holy fuck! Indeed, sectarian differences are the number one killer in faith-based adventuring parties. Followed closely by dragons. Oh, and the Unchast. Hey, Torvald. Aye? Uh, that lit you fought. Is it, um, still alive? Hang on, I'll check. You bastard! How dare you keep me in a bag like a common keepsake! The indignity! The humiliation! I swear upon every god, demon, and child in the universe, I shall have my revenge! It shall be... Still alive. Fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> we sense power from you, young cub. Fire, destruction, chaos. We accept this gift. Welcome home, tiny Trevor. Hold. All right, let's try to be stealthy this time. Oh, Mr. No Dark Vision wants to be stealthy. Mr. Can't See Without a Torch wants to sneak in the dark. Great idea, you lighthouse looking fuck. Well, that's just hurtful. Don't mind him. He is right, though. We can see in the dark. You can't. Hang back. You're a detriment to the team. Oh, come on, guys. It ain't my fault that humans don't have. Guys? Guys? All right, against my better judgment, I'm going to let you and Grogner handle this. To recap, try and convince the Orc Warband to back off and not attack the village. Got it? You got it, Boss Bucket. Don't sass me. Negotiations turn sour. Not even remotely surprised. Grogner killed the chieftain. Right. She's the chieftain now and leads the warband. Right. Wait, that's great. So she's caught off the attack. Nah, that's still happening. Warband life! Fucking what? We're on a warband, baby! Trevor! Oh, fuck. Oh, Bucket, uh, how's it hanging? You need to lay off the graffiti, man. Whatever would you mean, kind sir knight? You're going to get us in trouble with the law. Again. Oh, what's so bad about a little reindeer? Don't you fucking start. My family are the crypt wardens of the clan. Preparing and interring the clan dead. Guarding from grave robbers and whatever lurks in the deep crypts. I saw an opportunity in exchange for gold. Many of my clansmen signed contracts allowing me to raise their remains. Once they died in their own time, I would then rent out the undead as manual labor, mostly in mines. Labor laws don't apply to the dead. The clan elders put a price on my head when... They figured out your unnatural practices? Nah, mate. 
got caught not paying income tax on the profit. Capital offence. Fuck his taxes. Ah, out of spells. Same. You know what that means, right? I. Fireball. Shovel. Fuck yeah. Wait, Shovel. What? Oh, whoa. Foolish, tiny adventurers. You dare enter here? Into my home? But no matter. I have ways of dealing with your kind. What foul tricks are you up to, fiend? Sorcery? Winter wolves? White dragons? One rare magic item each if you fuck off and leave me alone. I mean, no! A quest reward is pretty shit when you think about it. No, he's the bad guy. I'm sure he has some redeeming qualities. Like what? Wealth? Oh, come on, man. Go no further, adventurers. Behold, the cast blade of Brun will be warned, for it is cast. Hence the name. The bloodlust of its maker seeped into the blade. Now it craves battle and thirsts for carnage. It corrupts its wielder, yes, making the poor soul into a force of horrible ba- Hang on. Weren't there four of you? <clears throat> What's up, guys? It's your boy, Torvald, back with another unboxing video. Oh, this is a good one. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, what is this fuckery? You know those magic mushrooms I've been growing in the bag of holding? No. Eh, Torvald ate about seven of them. Shit. Today's video was sponsored by Raid Shadow Is Legends. he gonna be okay? I have no idea. So, Bucket. Fair kids. Why are you out here? We're banned from the inn. Nah, I mean, why are you in the adventuring game? Well, on a holy mission? Seeking wealth and power. Running from your past? Claire, take Beckett and get out of here. I'll, I'll hold him off. Deus Vault, you fucking heretics. Well, huh. More... an orphanage. Ah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, big goody two-shoes. That's me. Countless heretics and heathens had died by my hand. I never flinched. Never yielded. Not until... them. For the very first time, doubt entered my mind. And it broke me. I left my armour in that hamlet, but I kept my helmet to never forget the face of my shame. To never forget my sins, I kept some other things. From the father, his sword and shield. From the mother, her cloak. From the child, his name. It was all he had to give. I abandoned my crusades and took an oath of redemption, not only to redeem myself, but others as well, so they won't repeat my mistakes. Squeak. Thanks, guys. Feels good to talk about it with... Uh, did you just say squeak? Uh, the jig is up, boys. Scatter. Family business not good enough for you. Too good for real and proper work, are you? Are you? What your mother is trying to say, sweetie, is that we think it'd be better if you stayed. But we'd be hypocrites if we were to stop you from adventuring. Right. If you want to go out into the world and indiscriminately kill for fame and gold, like your mother and I did, before we met and settled down, <sighs> go for it. We'll love and support you no matter what. No chain mail bikinis. They're just silly. Either wear armour or wear nothing. Very liberating. <clears throat> <clears throat> <laughs> Since Grogna grabbed that cursed blade of hers, uh huh, the blade of bloodlust, blade of blood. What about it? You notice any change? Nope. Yeah, me neither. Doing great, babes. You sure she ain't a barbarian? 
people keep assuming I'm like like a ranger, or druid, or a rogue. The ranger and druid stuff. Is it the the way I dress? Do I fit some hippie tree I guess stereotype? I'm a damn sorcerer, Bob. A force of fucking nature. Not like nature, nature though. Dope nature, magic. But rogue? Where do people get that from, Glenn? Are they assuming I'm sneaky because I'm a gnome? Or is it something I do? Darn mystery. Hear ye, hear ye, the guard is looking for the escaped prisoner, Trevor the Menace Hazelbog. This individual is wanted for acts of wanton thievery, robberies, arson, and one count of stabbing an officer in the knee. Bucket! <sighs> Me and Tovo to get a head down with the villagers to ambush the taxmen. Gonna kill us some bloodsuckers. Wanna come? No. I know our resident wizard has views on the morality of taxation, but taxmen are just regular people with jobs. They're not some vampiric parasites that deserve to be hunted down by an angry mob. They're a necessity for the continued function of a civilized society. Oh, but these society. ones aren't vampires. They just happen to work as taxmen. Hmm? Got steaks? Oh, I got steaks. Pitter patter, let's get at her. Get a move on, Steve. Dude, it's a secret dwarven door. It's hella complicated. Just pick the lock. Don't even know if it has a lock. Wait, did you hear something? God damn it. We found a goblin! Can we keep it? Why are you asking me? I'm not your mother. But no, you cannot. Oh, you'll love him. He's cute as fuck. Keep an open mind. Keep an open mind. Keep an open mind. Here he comes, ready or not. Alright, let's <coughs> see. Oh, sweet <coughs> mother of death! Kill, goblin. Kill it! <coughs> Alright, bandito dorito, you get to run away. At this point, killing's getting gratuitous, and I'm trying to make our paladin happy. Fuck you, Twinkie, you're going down! Did you miss the part where I wiped out your friends? Fuck off. I can take you! No offence, buddy, but you're like a common bandit. I used to get hired to ice people like you for pocket change. Nowadays, I hunt literal giants. Still a chance! It ain't even about the money, man, it's a hobby. I believe in myself! Not sure if you're tremendously dumb or insanely brave. How about thee? Huh. Trevor, our sweet child of chaos, come closer. Our time is near. Do you know what you will do when we are gone? Yeah, turn you into a cloak and wear it till it breaks apart. And... Oh, burn this entire enchanted forest to the fucking ground. That's our boy. Especially Mr. Rabbit's tree. Good. Alright guys, let's do this one by the book. Ah, fireball it is. Not every fucking now, the fight ship? calls for a fucking fire... Friends? <sighs> what fireball, the fireball, fuck? Fireball. Hold up a bit. My adventurer sense is tingling. Let's check for traps. I got it. Kinda wish Trevor was a rogue now. Yeah, what the fuck? Was that our guide? Used to be. Why is he a zombie? He was dead. Waste time. You psychos killed our guide! Arguably. It was a suicide. What, really? He made prolonged eye contact with Grogner. We're not good guys, are we? <sighs> Doubt it.
I can see beyond the veil. Free will is just an illusion. Nothing is fucking real. Our lives in action are ruled by rolls of dice. Our bodies are but unpainted miniatures on a board. It's all a game, man. A game played to the laughter of thirsting gods. Are we people are just tools for our amusement? Are our own thoughts real? Do our choices even matter in the end? What does chicken taste like? And the fuck is an alignment? Mate, this is a blacksmith's. Please stop eating psychedelics in here. Hmm? Conrad the Breaker has broken your sword, Paladin. Conrad has broken your spirit. Now Conrad shall break your body. Paladin is weak without sword, but not Conrad. He, he broke since it. Conrad was little boy. Conrad was strong. Weak you men good? With weak swords kill Conrad's mother. I'm but fine. Conrad survived. Conrad decided to become best fighter. You sure? Conrad breaks swords to teach weak little it men. It wasn't even magical, man. Hand me that brick, would you? Guys, come on! I've practiced this speech. Fucking Shit. heretic! Fuck! <clears throat> Your bucket. <clears throat> I think he's dead, B. <clears throat> Buddy. You're having a moment. We'll leave you to it. Hmm. <sighs> Long time since we had your kind in these parts. What? Meant nothing by it, sir. Not many adventurers round here is all. Honest. Where's the tea shop? Uh, the general store should have some, sir. And they'd better have some old Del Vortex mercy on this town. The hell? He's going through some stuff. You don't say. Running out of chamomile did not help. Think I might have shit myself. Brothers and sisters, praise be unto Nat Twant. Daggers, costumes, Nat Twant. and a blood praise dish? Be. Looks Praise like we be. got ourselves a oh, cult. Freezing so hard Why did they right always have to cut the palm? It hurts like a bitch. I've been thinking. Maybe we should be more... tolerant. Just because they're a bit culty doesn't mean they're the bad guys. I mean, come on, the Church of Stevica started off in the basement in they a- They just tossed a puppy into the fire. <sighs> Okay, I gotta ask, anyone else feel a bit uncomfortable with the whole looting bodies thing? <laughs> Be reasonable. How's policy? We got here as fast as we could. No. Pretty please? Fuck off. Uh, someone else try. Mission failed successfully. Well done, Grogner. What kind of place stops serving breakfast at ten anyway? I got a bucket. No, no, let's not be hasty. <gasps> Please with light. 
I really appreciate our friendship. <laughs> this is the best I can do on such short notice. Sure about the cape? The cape stays. Shame. This is the strangest armor shop. I prefer armoire. Sounds more chic. Isn't that a type of closet? Yo, check out this beauty. Hey, hey, hey. That's not one of mine. That's blood. Bit last year, but you'll Why wear it well. Is there Give us a twirl, girl. Blood on you, crazy motherfuckers. My king, they've arrived. It was inevitable, but we are as prepared as we can be. Our walls are strong. Our steel is strong. But our will is even stronger. The Ogre Hordes come looking for a fight. By the gods, we will give it to them. <clears throat> Apologies, sire. Really hate to interrupt, but the Ogres are a no-show. But then, who? No. Howdy, buddy. You want to know something I Hello, just learned? Adventurer. Manure is pretty flammable. Which sort of brings me on to a fun story. Gods preserve us. I see you wield the fabled blade of Gravia, mortal. The fiend slayer. The demon's bane. The one and only blade prophesies to end my existence. Long have I feared your arrival. This? This is just my shovel. Not magic at all. Great shovel, though. Also, where are we? Kinda tripped and fell through a portal. Yeah, I don't believe you. You cool with me just running away? I guess. Cool. See you around, mortal. Okay. Stay a while and listen, adventurers. Let me tell you the tale of the world. Now, once up this a seems time, pretty important. There were these Anyone taking notes? Just us here, and I can't fucking read. These old ones You're not literate. Not I mean, I've seen you graffiti plenty of walls no, with writing. Oh, I got a sheet sheet. Sheet sheet? Thorvald made it for me. Subjugated to their this is just profanity. A lot of profanity. They would be hmm. changed. And illustrations. Ah, Grogna made those. With a new race. Where are you, you smelly little fucker? And stay out. Oh, ah, gotcha. Care to explain yourself? Tripped into a portal. Ended up at what looked like hell with less truth. Do I look like an idiot? Go to your room. What room? Now. Yes, sir. For your help against the cultists, please accept this gift for a paladin. The sword of the great warrior king, Ianric, in Diadre. With this blade and trusted companions, he felled many a beast, demon, and man, before he and his kingdom fell into shadow and ruin. Hmm. How long has this been in the lake? Oh, a couple of centuries? No more than seven. Figured. Surrender now, brigands. No one has to die here today. <laughs> really wish you guys had let me go first. <laughs> Told you Firebolt would be a bloody shovel. Greetings, Theseus. Sir Beckett, always a pleasure. Reckon you're here for your broken sword. Did you fix it? Sure did. I truly appreciate it. It has a sentimental value. Now, the blade was made from real poor quality material. Not even worth melting it down for scrap. Yet alone attempt a reforging. I got your proper blade instead. Guardian steel, even. 
Frankly, don't know what the guard was made of, but it's a damn miracle you still got your fingers. So I got you an upgrade there too. I was going to get you the skull cracker for the pommel, but my supplier was out. So I'm afraid it's the same as before. I mean, same sword, just better parts. A chamomile bucket? The fuck? They're not undead, just some schmucks in makeup. For now. Please don't. Anyway, my bet is that we're gonna find some old pirate treasure that these guys wanted to keep secret. They just put on this whole ghost fuckery to scare away the locals. And they would have gone away with it too if not for... Ooh. Run. Go forth, my minions. Tear them apart. Uh, but why? Hmm? You know what? You've got a point there. What's in it for us? They do, you. Right? It's not like we get paid or anything. Why? You guys are getting paid? No one is getting paid. That's the problem. Do we need to unionize? I feel like we need this is to unionize. Why you know where skeletons, Torvald. Skeletons can't talk back. I know what you're thinking. How many spells did he cast? Well, to tell you the truth, in all this excitement, I kind of lost track of myself. So, you've got to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do ya? Punk! If I had a copper piece for every time you psychos accidentally burned down a town over some inane argument with a shopkeep that you managed to escalate beyond belief, I'd have two copper. Which isn't a lot, but it's fucking weird that it's happened twice. <sighs> I'm a bit worried about that turtle back there. Don't be. He got bit by a werewolf, dude. One. I've never heard of a total werewolf. Pretty sure you have to be a mammal to catch lycanthropy. Two... What? River Hazelbog. What? Come to us. Release us. It is your destiny, hmm. son of the Emberwoods. Hmm. I'll give you ten gold for it. Deal. Bitch. Please stop. Do you sell weapons? Magic ones? No. Fuck. I'll buy all the silver coins you, you have then. You do know the town is under attack by werewolves? I am aware. Got any socks? Sup, dog? I'm cursed, aren't I? Can't catch a damn break. Garadian, steal my ass. Oh, Brother Beckett. Brother Dave. Honorary Brother Trevor has told us of your broken weapons. Honorary what now? We took a gander at our holy relics and we managed to forge a weapon worthy of a holy warrior. Ah. You guys. Hmm. Righteous. Oh, you're approaching me. Instead of running away, you're coming right to me. I can't smite the shit out of you without getting closer. Then by all means. Come as close as you'd like, paladin. Look at the 
逃げずにこのディオに近づいてくるのか近づかなきゃてめえをぶちのめせないんだなほうほうでは十分近づくがよい Halt, half breed. A bounty on your head has been placed with my order. I have come to collect. I can bring you in warm, or I can bring you in cold. The choice is yours. But know this I have donned the armor of my order, making me immune to all attacks. Your famed prowess with the blade will be of no use against me. <laughs> Oh my gods. It's just like that old Vistani woman said. So, you're using that Lich's head as a spell casting focus? Yep. You're casting spells with the sentient remains of a bona fide villain. Is that safe? Can't be. Couldn't you use something less evil to cast spells?、Mm. You know,、uh, why not use a component pouch like Trevor? Hang on. My paladin sense is tingling. Hey, buddy. What are you doing?、Nothing. What are you eating? Nothing. What's that smell? Damn it, Trevor. Stop it in batshit, you crazy bastard. You're not my real dad. Spit it out! No! I have faced many challenges undead, mutants, heretics. There was even that thing with a dinosaur. Which we do not speak of. But this. This is one of my greatest challenges yet. Dave Law, give me strength. Please, friend, be reasonable. I'm not taking a bath. Yes, you fucking are. You smell like death. Good. No, it isn't, you smelly fucker. Hmm. It appears the potion cellar was strained. No sign of forced entry, and the murder occurred during business hours. A disgruntled customer, perhaps. From what I can tell, only the strongest potions were taken. But we won't know for sure until we do a full inventory, so don't drink any. Also, half the crap in here isn't even labelled. Is that clear? I am shocked. Shocked, I say. By the Akuzatai Tain. <clears throat> so, what's that noise about you being an honorary brother of the Church of Stevacus? Took me years to even be accepted as a novice. What's a dude gotta do to be a brother in this club? Years of study. And a lifelong devotion to our Lord and Saviour. Can we、uh, speed that up a bit? I just want to join to mess with Bucket. That's pretty messed up. And no, ain't gonna happen. I got money. Eh? Eh? Hmm. Yeah, they said it was Dave Law's will. Hmm. You think the monks made a mistake? No. No. They. they know what they're doing. See that dwarf in heavy armour? He's a wizard, he is. Goes into battle with a shovel. Rumours are t i s the magic blade of Gravener. Some say he took it from an ancient dragon horde. Some say he won it in a card game from the demon prince Orcus. Only the gods know for sure. Two years ago. Shopkeep, I'm going into battle. One regular shovel, please. Coming up! Come on, Trill, we've gotta go! 
It's no use, Gritch. They, they got me good. Just leave me. Hell no. Either we both make it or none of us do. Gotta tell you something before it's too late. You can tell me when we're out of here. Uh, I love you, man. Always have. I know. Bit overkill for two fleeing goblins. What do you want me to do? Finish a fight without using fireball? Don't be absurd. My tale is a dark one. After the tragic murder of my parents, I grew up in an orphanage. Due to my dark, troubled past, I was forced to leave and had to fend for myself on the mean streets of Masper. I was taken in by an assassin clan who taught me the way of the blade. But I was exiled because of my unquenchable need for revenge. Also, it turns out my assassin clan were the one who killed my parents. And my dog. Oh, you fucking go, man! That's a fucking good backstory! Sure, others might say that it's about as original as a ham sandwich, and that the edge is just a way to hide the lack of substance. But not me. Good choice, I say. Choice? Cliché is just another word for classic. Stop bothering sad people. Well, that rogue doesn't have any parents. Shocker. Decent narrative, though. You've been eating shrooms again, haven't you? I'd be more invested if he had a doomed romantic interest. New party member. Yep. And my turn to pick. I know the rules. Nervous? At least pretend to take this seriously. And could you pick someone... Pious? You know, someone a bit more on the holy side. A cleric would be nice. You the fellas looking for another party member? I'm Clara, the warlock. Nice to meet you. Hmm. Welcome aboard! Fuck. So, what's your patron? Forever rise, old dog. Scorcher of the Evergreen Woods, the Slayer of Mr. Rabbit, my father. Long have I tracked your stench. I have come for my revenge. Then you have come to die. Do you know what this is about? Not the faintest. Is this normal for you guys? <laughs> you get used to it. Fuck is a celestial patron? Basically an angel. Yes! Yeah, I was hoping for something dope. It's pretty dope. Didn't think so the first time I met it though. Literally shit myself. Easily in the top three of the most traumatic events of my life. Now we're talking. It did not help my mental state at the time. Wait, what? Get down. So, what are we hiding from? Those guys. I see them. Who are they? The most feared head squad in the Dwarven realms. The Queen's ruthless bloodhounds. Surprised it took them this long to track me down. The tax collectors. <laughs> Where's the rest of the gang? They got distracted, so I went ahead without them. Oh. Not to worry, they shouldn't be long. By the patron. How have I never heard of this iced cream before? It's literally magical. Mm, fucking dirt. Never split 
the party. Your words. I know what I said. Y'all really should have paid your dues. Any final words before your sentence is carried out? My ancestors smile upon me, leech. Can yours say the same? Could Torvald just... pay his taxes? Technically, yes. I'd rather die. You're an idiot. Look, can I pay his debt? I guess. Okay, how much does he owe? Could we work out a payment plan or something? 84 gold. Oh, please tell me this whole fuckery isn't over 84 gold. Now it's, it's the, the principle. principle. Trevor alone spent more on booze last week. I owe you a life debt for paying off the tax collectors. 84 gold. You dishonored yourself for me. I will save your life or die trying. Or just pay me back the gold. Hard pass. Well, look who finally decides to show up. Sorry, got some iced cream. It got real complicated. How so? Well... I wanted to know how it's made, so I popped by the kitchen. Turns out they were using some dark magic thingamabob to freeze the cream. Kinda neat, but it ran on harvested orphan souls. I took offense to that. So Grogna started questioning the chef, but then everyone in the shop turned into crab demons and we had to fight a bunch of them. Then the chef's eyes started glowing and it yelled something about assuming direct control. Then the floor collapsed and we fell into an ancient ruin underneath the ice cream shop. A bloody maze of traps that was. Instead of finding the exit, we found a massive trail left by some strange worm thing. You were gone for like... an hour! I remember when fighting ogres was actually a challenge. Fucking pushovers. I'm gonna go over there. You got this, right? Got this. Shit. Wild magic surge! Shit's about to get. Wild? Could have sworn there'd be a bang. The fuck are you? The Hobgoblin army is but a day away, lads. The vile scum wishes to drive us from our homes. To hell with that, I say. So what if they're better trained, armed, and outnumber us five to one? I'd take one peasant fighting for his family and home over ten heavily armored Hobgoblins any day. And as luck would have it, these fine adventurers just arrived. I've asked them to help us prepare our defenses. <clears throat> now, how do I put this gently? Y'all are fucked. Maybe if you had a bit more time to prepare- It's not even funny how fucked you are. Training alone would take a month at You're least. You're all gonna die tomorrow. Yo, what was that noise? Nothing. Must have been the wind. It didn't really sound like the wind. Shut your fucking mouth. Gary's fucking dead. And we're next if you don't listen to me. I've been doing this gig for a while now, son. This whole thing reeks of adventurers trying to sneak into the fort. Pretend everything is fine and hope they're more interested in sneaking past us than they are murdering us one by one. What if... They're more interested in killing. Pray for a quick death.
I want to thank you for dealing with those cultists in the royal crypts and for keeping the destruction to a minimum. A royal proclamation recognizing your service to the crown will be written. I just need the name of your party. We don't have one. Huh. I guess we haven't really talked about it. Okay. Does anyone have any ideas? This is a big deal, so nothing silly. Let's try to be... Fuck it, Brigade! Absolutely not. Fuck it, Brigade! Come on, be reasonable. Bucket Brigade! Mm, the Bucket Brigade it is. Fuck. I'm gonna go order something. Could you watch BL for me? You're familiar? Sure. Is it any trouble? Nah, he's a peach. You two want anything? Oh, I'd love some tea if they have any. Juicy eyeballs! What? I got some questions about the menu, Bob. Well, shoot. What's goblin spit ale? No spit, just ale. Cobalt kebab? No kebab. Dragon sausages? Mostly pork. Fried fairy? Ah, cocktail. Minotaur steak? <laughs> Long story short, some cultist dame summons me. And ah, nice lady, fed me a bunch of juicy eyeballs. Till she got whacked by a cleric, that is. Cleric tricks me into saying some celestial garbage and bada bing bada boom. I'm a slave to this angel schmuck. Angel gives me the Clara and now I'm here, hanging out with the good guys. Ooh, that's rough, buddy. Eh, it ain't all bad. Good guys ice a lot of people. My access to eyeballs is pretty much unchanged. Hey, you Trevor? Yeah, you Steve? Yeah. I'll be right with you. Alright, I'm gonna buy some drugs. You want some death sticks? No. I'll get you some death sticks. There's that paladin. Got a juicy bounty on his head. <sighs> Hard pass. Why? Rico tried to whack that guy at the local church during mass last week. Shankar's Codex, page 232. Attack paladins in churches. Most paladins disarm for religious ceremonies. Turns out disarm is a relative term. Psycho killed Rico with a quill, man. A fucking quill. Well, you know what they say. The quill is mightier than the... Too soon? Too soon. Hey, Bucket Beckett. I think you could teach me how to read properly. Oh, of course, it would be my pleasure. Ah, groovy! Now let's start with that word. Oh. Why has the Adventurer's Guild put a bounty on my head? I've never done anything to deserve a bounty. At least not to these assholes. Never even heard of them. Guild for Adventurers. 
They have jurisdiction in this and the neighboring kingdoms. But why me? If it was Trevor or Grogner? Uh, fuck, even you. I'd understand that. Why would any of us have bounties? Aren't we the good guys? Well, yeah, but... You know... Way. Shit happens? Oh. Mm, juicy. All right, you adventurous guild chuckle fucks. I've got questions for you lot. And if I don't get any answers real quick, someone's gonna get the br- <clears throat> Right here, Sir Beckett. No need to yell. Ah. Say, listen, does this bounty on my head business have anything to do with some... crusading? Because I'm sure that if you look again, you've got the wrong guy. Sir Beckett, we don't care about any of that. Then what's this all about? Well, adventuring without a license. You're kidding, right? Afraid not, sir. When your party was publicly named, it officially became an adventuring party. All adventuring parties are required to have a license to... Well, adventure. Okay, but why put the bounty on me? The party figurehead can be held legally responsible for the whole party. Less paperwork. Plus, we use less ink. It's the same reason we don't list the individual's crime on most of the bounties. How can this blatant fuckery possibly be legal? Our lobbying department are very good at their jobs. So, to sum up, if we go crash some necromancer's castle and <clears throat> arrest him, the Adventurer's Guild will get off our backs. You don't sound very keen. <sighs> I'm not. What is it? This way up? I'm starting to feel like we're some form of hit squad for the mob. I mean, who are the good guys here? How can we be sure that this necromancer is actually... evil? Never mind. Hey, nice dicks. <laughs> See your prayers, evil doers. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> the master. This way, please. So, this Malfar guy, is he a good necromancer? Like, is he a bad guy? Castle really has that dilapidated evil look to it, so that fits the bill. While I am biased, I can vouch for the master's moral character. I practically raised him myself. Then he repaid the favor by raising me, if you'll pardon the undead pun. As for the state of the castle, the upkeep of an ancestral estate this size is very expensive. And the evil soundtrack? The organ is haunted, sir. It only plays the most ominous bit from that one slightly ominous song whenever it feels the mood calls for it. Huh. It feels that way a lot. And here is the Master's collection of cursed weapons, trinkets, and assorted junk. Ooh. Touching is ill-advised, but not prohibited. 
Right. I can't believe I have to say this out loud. Don't touch the cursed shit. Wait. Where's Trevor? Trevor? Crap, crap, crap. A knife! No! <sighs> Thanks, but uh, I'm good. Fetch me science. Really good. <laughs> Beckett, Grogna is trying to peer pressure me into using cursed weapons. Hey, it's cool to say no. <laughs> Kind of invited by the bu- The insolence. The audacity. Your very souls are now forfeit. I don't argue with illusion sober. Dispel magic. For the Pardon the deception, ladies and gentlemen. Allow me to introduce Lady Milva Malthar. Sup? Mistress of the necromantic arts and lady of this estate. Hmm. What was the deal with the illusion pack there? Family tradition. People fear and respect the necromancer of Malthar State a lot more if they think it's a giant undead sorcerer and not just some gnome wizard. We've kept up that illusion for three generations now. It keeps the local villages from going all torch and pitchforky. So the public face of your family is this illusionary lord, Malthar, because... peasants aren't scared of gnomes? Bit oversimplified, but sure. Though there are other benefits to the scheme. Such as... For one, in this kingdom, the undead are tax-exempt. Nice. It has become apparent to me that this entire quest is based on malicious lies. The Adventurer's Guild is clearly an evil and corrupt organization. And Lady Malthar is their innocent victim. Guilty only of being a misunderstood practitioner of necromancy, which I was surprised to learn is, in fact, not illegal. Therefore, we would like to invite Lady Malthar to be the first honorary member of the Bucket Brigade. Join us, and together we shall defeat the real bad guys. Oh boy, this is awkward. Please keep your arms by your sides at all times. Well, shit. Oh, no, speech. I zoned out. What's happening? Oh. It would appear that we have been betrayed. Hmm. Bingo. Why? Don't you want to join us and get the Adventurer's Guild off your back? Gods no. If they're gone, we'd send adventurer parties after me. How is that a good thing? Because the average adventurer is loaded. I make more gold looting a single party than all the local villages make in a month. I mean, sure, they're really poor villages, but it's still a lot of gold. Plus, I just love having fresh materials come knocking on my door by themselves. Saves me the trouble of going grave robbing. That all you got? <laughs> 
Oh, I love it when people ask me that. How about the latest fine addition to my collection? <laughs> Had him imported from the north. I call him Glenn. Shipping was expensive. How about the overgrown matchstick? Fireball! <laughs> Glenn is immune to fire damage? How the shit are you surprised by this? He's literally on fucking fire! <laughs> I really don't appreciate what's on that. <clears throat> Sorry, but I'm a bit stressed. Ugh. Today's been a real roller coaster. Into your shot right there. Bucket Brigade! Looking back, I really didn't plan for Holy Warriors. I should have, but I didn't. That's on me. Well, you live and you learn. Don't relax just yet. We still gotta fight Lady Malthar. Final boss battle! Sure. We surrender. Oh, damn it. Is this some form of. You trick? just nuked my most powerful minion in less than a minute. I'll just take the go straight to jail option if you don't mind. Okay. You. Alright, sir. No one has ever surrendered to us before. Not really sure what to do, to be honest. You're doing great, sir. Um, thanks. Well, thank you for your hospitality, Dismas. And thank you for not ending my existence, sir. Eh. The bounty said nothing about the butler. Plus, we took a vote. It felt right. <laughs> <sighs> this is humiliating. May I offer some horses? Sir, we have a stable on the grounds. I believe it would be more dignified for all parties. Oh no. The Bucket Brigade don't use horses. Whenever we bring horses with us, they die. Thunderbolt was electrocuted. Buttercup was eaten by weasels. Lasagna got hit by a ballista. Not a bolt, an actual ballista. Still have no idea where it came from. I can actually summon an immortal celestial spirit as my steed, but... Poor Rufus has died and come back six times. Every time he's summoned it's like there's another piece of him missing. I just let the poor guy be in the celestial plane. His eyes are just so... empty. So, yeah, no horses. We could, thanks. Haunting. I gotta admit, Torvald, we were a bit worried that you'd run away with Lady Malthar. Shared interests and all that. She's a fine necromancer. Make no mistake. Had a decent tax evasion scheme going too. Albeit a bit crude. But no. 
I wouldn't do that to you guys. Plus, I don't think the wife would have approved. <laughs> yeah, I can see how that looks. Wait, wait, wait. You're married? With kids. You have kids? How did I not know this? It's because you never stay up drinking with us, man. You've missed, like, a lot. Huh. Feels great to actually bring a bounty in alive. Not just drop a head in the sack to the law. Fucking holy warriors and guiding bolts. Come along now. Where the fuck is my lawyer? She's not gonna break out of jail and come after us. We'll have no reason to regret this. So, how much is bail? We're good. We are good. <sighs> yeah. You know that's probably what's gonna happen, right? Maybe. Wanna put money on it? Hard pass. Knock knock! Evening, Sir Beckett. Would you mind keeping your voice down? Shut your damn mouth! Rude. We've done your dirty work. Get rid of the bounty. And if you think we'll want anything to do with your bullshit adventurer's guild, then I can- Actually, the gang wanted to talk about that. What the shit, Clara? The guild actually offers some great benefits. Like what? Free legal advice. But there's some killer discounts. Hmm. 15% off arms and armor at any Stonehammer blacksmith shops. Blacksmiths are franchising now? 20% off healing and resurrection services at participating temples. Well, we are gonna need that. Damn, even the Church of Stevacus is on here. <laughs> well, well, well. No visible fires. No pursuing mob. I take it the shopping trip actually went well for once. It went great. They never left my sight and behaved themselves like angels. You should be real proud of them both. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. So, we're all in agreement then. The Bucket Brigade is going on break for a couple of months. I could use some R&R. &R. I should go see the kids. Hey. Bucket. What's up, Trevor? You aren't coming back though, right? Ah, don't you worry, little guy. You're not getting rid of me that easily. Someone's got to keep you psychos on the straight and narrow. And besides... Hanging out with you guys is just way too much fun. Hey, are you, uh, you're still watching? Well, if you are, first of all, well, thank you. Thank you very much. You've stuck around for a damn long time. Uh, and secondly, my word. 101 comics. Well, 101 dubs. As I've said, I don't make these. C-M-E-T does, and he's fantastic. Uh, so here we are. I never really thought I'd make this many. I never thought I'd put them all together in one, I think, over an hour-long compilation by now. Whew. Pretty big. Uh, I know the channel's been kind of dead for the last two months. Yeah, I I've had a new job. I've moved up. I'm settled in, and I'm here to announce that dubs will continue, and I think I've got a fair few recorded, so uh, not too long to wait now, eh? Well, that's all I've got to say. Once again, thank you very much, and everyone have a survivable day. <laughs>